In this video, I'm going to be making an iOS shortcut using the DeepSeek, which is a Chinese AI model. I'm going to be making like a very medium level shortcut. So I'll head over to the DeepSeek. I do you know about iOS shortcut? Okay, so that's what we wanted to know. So it is familiar to iOS shortcut, which is right here. It's a powerful app on iOS. Yep, Apple. Okay. And I'm going to ask, hi, can you please help me making an iOS shortcut? Which tells user their age after them entering their date of birth there's absolutely i can guide you through creating an ios shortcut that calculates and displays a user age after they enter their date of birth okay so it it knows how to help us i'm gonna go and start recording on my iphone now and We'll go into shortcuts from shortcuts. It says launch the shortcuts app on your iPhone or iPad. So step one is done. Step two, we was asked to make a new shortcut by tapping onto the plus button. So tap there. And then I'm going to be naming my shortcut tell user age from DOB. In the actions, I'm going to search for ask for input, which is what we are meant to do in this step. So I'll click on to ask for input. So we're going to click on to the text, which is the type, and we're going to change the type to the date. And it wants us to customize the prompt to enter your date of birth. So I'll click that here. Enter the, I'll just say D O B. So we're down three steps, five more to go. And in step four, it wants us to get the time between the dates action. So I'm going to go do that. Time between dates. So we'll click that. So for the first date here, I'm going to be clearing the variable for the current date select the provided input so i'm just gonna click on to the first date and then i'm gonna select the variable and click on to ask for input and that is going to be the date provided by the user and then for the second date select current date so we're just gonna go on to the second date and clear variable and then click on to that again and in the second date, I'll just enter the current date, which is right here. And press the cross. And then set the unit to years. So instead of minutes, we're going to be clicking on to the years. We're down four steps. In the fifth step, it says add the show result action. Tap add action and search for show result. So we'll say show result and then we'll click on to the show result and show the time between dates this will display the calculated age of the user optional add a friendly message you can add a text action before the show result to create a custom message like that and use the variable to do name the shortcut i think i didn't read that but we should have done that seventh step since number six is optional we are almost done with our and i'm gonna run this shortcut and i'm gonna select the date to june maybe 2004 and done and it shows me that i am 20 years you know 20 years from now to 2004 because it's 
25 now, but it, because it's June and the June hasn't hit yet, it's only January. So I'm going to click again and search for another date, like I'm going to say January, the 30th January, but I'm going to do 2024. And that will tell user that it's one year old, but because we don't have a customized message yet, we'll go and do what DeepSeek was telling us to do, which is add a friendly message using a text. So I'm going to click onto the text here and move that just before the show action. And I'm going to click here, you are, and then here will be my variable years old and in here i want to add how many years old so i'll select onto the variable i'm going to click onto time between the dates and this is going to be our variable that is going to tell how many years is the difference between the current date and the date of the birth so last time we did was 20 and 1 so instead of 20 and 1 I'm expecting it to say you are and then that 20 variable and then years old. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and run this shortcut. And in January 2025, I'll do January 2010 maybe. And then press done. And that will tell me I am 15. Oh, sorry, because we forgot to change the time between dates here. So it's meant to clear this variable and click onto the text here, which is this going to be here. And now we'll run the shortcut again. I'm going to change the date to 28. And from month, I'm going to keep it to Jan. And the year, I'm going to go 2010. So 2025 at the moment. So 2025 minus. 2010 would be 15 years old, right? And it's because it's 10. I'm going to click onto the done and it shows us you are 15 years old. But if we run this shortcut again and instead of 30th, 31st of Jan, if I click anywhere in February, maybe I'll do 14, the Valentine's Day. And if I go on to the month and the year and if I do the same thing 2020 2010 but I'll change the date and the month then if I click on to the done it'll say you are 14 years old doesn't matter you are going to be 15 years old in one month I mean we can do that as well but for now we just want to know how old person is I feel like this shortcut was pretty easy for me because I make shortcuts so often that I know all the actions but for someone I feel like if they don't know much actions and what you can do with each action I feel like um, this deep seek would be really helpful I mean I've, I've done some shortcuts using chat GPT as well and it's not too bad and when it gets really complicated yes it does it doesn't really help Maybe these models don't have too much information about shortcuts yet. But over the years, I'm expecting, you know, it to know a lot more about iOS shortcuts because people are going to be making more and more and more every day. And I feel like with Routine Hub as an extension for apps like these, if Routine Hub can explain each action of the each shortcut to a summary, then I feel like these apps have more information about what the user is trying to do versus what the shortcut in routine hub did in the past and kind of figure out the similarities and then give us the results uh yeah so if you like this video uh make sure you hit onto the like and subscribe for more future videos see you next time